Hello, my name is Brian Lawfer, Vice President here at QuoteWorks. I'd like to thank you for attending this webinar focused on the QuoteWorks product content subscription enhancements that we made in our latest release. During this webinar, if you have questions, please feel free to uh, type that in in the, uh, the GoToWebinar box, um, and we'll do our best to answer them throughout the webinar. Uh, if I'm going too fast at any point, feel free to go ahead and just raise your hand or just put in a little question asking me to slow down. Um, what we're going to do first is just talk about uh, the survey um, that we conducted of all of our product content subscribers earlier this year. And in that, we asked them what they liked, what they didn't like about the subscription, and also for feedback and sub suggestions on what we can do to make them more efficient and utilize our solution better. And the, the QuoteWorks development team reviewed the results from the survey, which confirmed what we have heard from attending industry events throughout the years and also uncovered new areas to improve as well. And some of the top areas that we received in the results were one, they wanted to speed up the distributor integrations, which I totally agree with. Um, and most people didn't use the category dropdowns prior to a search as well. Um, most people wanted the ability to narrow down the search results by product attribute or feature, um, which uh, we did implement as well, and more ways to compare products. Now, the thing that we were most proud of in the survey is that most of the people, and when I say most, I'm saying 97% of the people found that the product content subscription was worth their investment and time. So based on the feedback that we received, we implemented Edelize 3.0 into the product content, content subscription in QuoteWorks. And this release dramatically speeds up the real-time calls to the distributors, enables you to narrow your search results, adds compare functionality um, for Edelize products, and adds upsell and similar items. So in short, we focused on saving you more time when quoting. So let's do this. Um, let's go ahead and do a search in the old Edelize integration. Okay, so this, this screen probably looks pretty familiar to you. So what I'm going to do is, uh, is go ahead and get real time now. So I've already done my search based on the part number, and based on the feedback that we received from you, most of you are actually doing part number searches rather than um, like keyword searches. So let's go ahead and click on the lightning bolt here. And as you can see, we're going one by one through the distributors. Now, it did find um, the lowest cost. In this case, it was tech data. Um, but uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like using the new Edelize feature. So this is a very similar screen to what I just had. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and get real time. And what it's doing is it's going out all at once for all three part numbers. So it basically, it's a shotgun approach now, saving you a ton of time when working with the different distributors. So if you're working with, you know, one, two, three, maybe even five of the distributors, now we're saving you that much more time. And speaking of time, if we look down here at our stopwatch here, you can actually see the breakdown per distributor, how long it took for each of those calls. Okay. So in this case, Ingram it took the longest. So Based on the old integration, it would have taken us almost nine seconds to do all of this, but basically it only took us that 3.7 seconds to get all that information. Okay, so that's what we're really going to focus on um, in this, this webinar today is how to find items faster, how to narrow down your, your results, and make sure that you're getting the best costs available to you. Okay, so one of the things I want to talk about while we're on this screen, other than just the stopwatch, is you'll notice down here we have our, our bullseye here. What this bullseye does is it tells us that this item actually wasn't found via Edelize. It's using our part locator service. And our part locator service is a uh, basically a collaboration that we have with many of the distributors out there, um, including the top four, um, Ingram, uh, tech data, Cynix, and DNH, um, along with several others as well, where every night we're actually doing a, a part import for those distributors to make sure that we have the current products because 
Edelize does a good job at having a majority of the products out there, but they're missing out on about 5 to 10% of the products out there as far as based on availability by distributor. So that's what this indication is. And that's why we kind of rebranded our, our, our Edelize subscription to be the product content subscription because we are doing more than just Edelize itself. Okay, so the other thing that we can do on the same screen here is we can also get pricing uh, from CDW, Newegg, and Provantage all at once. So not only are we getting prices from the distributors, but also we can see real-time pricing as well from the, some from retail um, products as well. So this way we can see, you know, what's available out in the field. So if you were quoting from Tech Data at, you know, 1085, you know that you want to probably stay in this price range. Otherwise, you know, the customers might shop, um, unfortunately. Okay. So let's go ahead um, and uh, and look at take a look at some of the other functionality that we added recently um, with our compare function here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on compare, and you'll notice that now we have the ability to see additional um, information about that item. And all on one screen, we can see the, the breakdown by the category, uh, maybe the number of processors in this case, memory, so on and so forth. So this way you can see all on one screen um, what's available. Now the other thing we can do too is you'll notice that there's another part. And what I'm going to do is actually just click on compare. And so I can take a look and see what the differences are between these two items. And you'll notice that I have them highlighted here. So that way, any of the differences will be highlighted for me. So the, very easily, I can see the difference between these two items. In this case, this has a 10 gig Ethernet, whereas the other one just had a single gig. We can also see that the total number of USB ports are different, as well as USB 3.0 ports as well. So it's a good way to see what the differences are between two parts or three parts, or you can also do it up to, I've done it up to 20 different parts. We only recommend probably doing it about, um, you know, maybe max of 15, because it does get kind of hard to, to read what's going on here. Now, the cool thing that we can do is we can also see pricing availability on the same screen as well. So, um, and if we wanted to, uh, you know, if maybe this was the right item, we can click on select and it's going to add that same item right to my quote, just like I normally would uh, from Edelize. Okay. Um, so we did have a question that did come up. Um, you know, the question from Michael here, um, why did the Amazon item get dropped? Hold on one second here. Uh, we're having some issues right now with um, the Edelize connection. I do apologize. It's kind of apropos that's happening today, um, but we'll go ahead and cancel that. Um, so uh, the question from Michael, why did the Edelize, why did Amazon get dropped from retail pricing? That's a really good question, Michael, um, and unfortunately, Amazon did cut off our feed on that. Uh, we're working with them to add, uh, add them back, hopefully. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to get more back here in the future here. Okay, so we were able to find that item. We were able to add it to our quote. Um, now what I'm going to do is, uh, so you notice that I did get the, the pricing availability for both of those items um, all in one shot. Again, we can see on one screen what how long it took for each of those calls. Okay, so let's go ahead and see some other functionality that we can do as well from here. So, all right, so let's go ahead then. Um, and you'll notice down at the bottom, we have, not only do we have our Edelize sourcing like we've always had before, um, but we also have the accessories, again, that we've had before. But now we also have similar and upsell items as well. So if I click on our similar items screen here, you'll notice that I can see the similar items to this item. So where the similar items come into play is so you can give your customer different options if maybe your distributors don't have them in stock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more um, products to my compare here. And let me just go real quick here. I'm going to turn off the real-time pricing just for a second so we can go ahead and load up with a bunch of items to compare here. You'll notice that the compare button gets grilled, uh, grayed out when it is added. 
to the compare screen. Now, upsell items um, are going to be a little bit better items. So it may have better processor, it may have more RAM, just more ways to upsell when, when quoting to your customer. So I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more here. Okay, so again, I do apologize. It does look like uh, Edelize is having some issues um, when it comes to the product, the product images, um, and uh, we do have a call out to them today. So let's go ahead and get pricing and availability for all seven of these items. So it's going out and we're getting our pricing. So as you can see now, I can see across the board what is available by, uh, by distributor that I work with for all of these items. I can also very easily see what the, um, what the differences are. So if, for instance, I need to make sure that I have a 10 gig system here, we can go ahead and remove from our screen. Maybe we want to go ahead and just make sure that we, again, have 10 gig for everything. So this, this one we're going to go ahead and remove. So as you can see, we're, we're narrowing things down. And we'll go ahead and do this last one and this one. Okay. So now we all have, uh, all of them are 10 gig Ethernet connections. And again, I can see pricing all on one screen. So this is great that I personally have the ability to see what, it, you know, the differences are in the specs for these items. But what you can do as well is you can add these items to your quote and you can also add it as a PDF to your links tab. Now, what does that do? Well, if we go over here to our links tab, go, to, go ahead and open this up, and you'll see we can give the price, it, it, we can give the spec information to our customers on one screen. Again, um, you know, we're hiding the things that the customer doesn't need to see. Um, so in, in this case, if we take a look, you know, we don't have our pricing, we don't have our part numbers on here because we don't want the customers to be able to shop around as well. So a couple of customers came, uh, questions come up. Um, one from Eric here. Um, okay, um, I'll take a look at that, Eric. Uh, thank you. Um, and then we had a question from Eli here. Um, he'd like to know uh, when Dell will be functional in Edelize. Well, um, Eli, the the Dell integration, uh, they actually do have uh, the punch out functionality will be coming around shortly. We've been working with them for about the last year and a half uh, to get that going. Uh, but basically, that punch out functionality should be available shortly. And uh, if you can definitely send an email to qwsales at quoteworks.com. That's just the, the webinar email address, and that'll get to me, and I can go ahead and uh, ask your ask Dell on your behalf what the status is on that. Okay, so if we go back, okay, so now we have our, our search capabilities. So again, one of the features that people wanted the ability to do was to drill down on, on their searches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do a search right now for a, an HP DL380. Now what that's going to do is this going to go out and it's going to find me all of the matches in Edelize for HP DL380. Now you'll notice though, on the left hand side, I have a bar. Now that bar did not exist in earlier versions. Okay. So with this bar, we can narrow down by category, by manufacturer. In this case, I've already selected HP, so it's obviously narrowed down quite a bit. Um, but also we can, we can narrow things down by features or attributes as well. So where this is going to be good, um, in this case, maybe for this server or workstation that I'm, I'm looking for, um, in this case, server, what we can do is we can narrow down by maybe the amount of RAM or uh, the processor. So let's go ahead and narrow down by the processor speed. So we'll go ahead and go with a 2.6 gigahertz processor. And you'll notice that things are getting narrowed down in my search results. And from here, maybe I know the amount of RAM that I want. So let's go ahead and we could search by 16, for instance. And now we've got our server that we've been looking for. And we can go ahead and get real-time pricing availability. 
and it went out to all four of them that quickly to get my pricing availability. And again, we can see the breakdown of the amount of speed there. Um, so if we go over to accessories, we can see the accessories that we would normally see. Um, now something that's kind of cool here, and let me go ahead and remove all of these real quick, is we have the ability to um, compare some of the accessories. So in this case, maybe we want to compare two of these hard drives that we're looking at. So I'll go ahead and select this one. And this one. And something you'll notice um, with these is Ingram, for instance, has yellow over here in the vendor part number. Now what that is, is it's a visual indicator that Edelize has multiple part numbers for this same part. So for instance, you can see here there's quite a few. So if we go over to our compare window and get pricing availability, it went out and got pricing availability for all of the part numbers that Ingram had. Okay, and also on this screen, I do want to note too, uh, for those that purchase from Tech Data, we do show the, the promo end dates as well if there is a promo price. Okay, so from this comparison screen as well, we have the ability to, to launch the item on Ingram's website or Cynix's or Tech Data's or DNH's website if there are multiple parts, if you're not sure which part number is best. So this way it'll actually take you out to in this case, take you to Ingram's site and show you, you know, which part number you should actually be purchasing from. Okay. So in the past, that had always been a, um, a an issue because you know you didn't necessarily have a visual indicator as far as which um, which part number to use or how many part numbers were being returned from Ingram. A uh, question from Karen. Um, only the tech data. Only tech data shows the promo. Um, currently, that's the only one that we we've got. Um, we are going to be taking a look to see um, if any of the other uh, distributors have updated their uh, their real time feeds to include the promo dates. Um, we were it, we just knew from working with tech data that they added those promo dates, so that's why uh, we went ahead and added them um, on the screen. If the other distributors do have them, when we go back and add that functionality, it'll actually just automatically start working in the feed uh, when we add that functionality. So a question from Mark, um, is, is there the option in Edelize searches to filter on products that are in stock as part of our search criteria? If not, is that something that might be coming? Um, so we've, we've, we've debated how to implement that in QuoteWorks, and that is something that we will, we will be adding, but it's going to be more on the product comparison screen here, because this is where you're going to be able to go out and narrow down what you want to be actually purchasing from. So there will be, in the future, an option to narrow down by stock, so in this case, there is no stock for any of these. Um, but um, where things get interesting is that there may not be stock, but it is an, a drop ship, ship item as well. So it's gonna be interesting to see um, how we work with the different distributors um, when they do have a zero quantity in stock, even though it is a drop ship. Uh, question from Neil, um, new egg business availability rather than just new egg. Um, that is something that um, we are looking at doing along with CDW as well, um, but it wouldn't be the normal uh, functionality that we've got over here uh, with the show pricing from, because this is basically just a screen scrape of what's available to anybody that purchase, that, that goes to CDW or Newegg.com. It's not your particular pricing. Um, Newegg and CDW do not have the same type of uh, real-time calls that the distributors have. They do have punch-out functionality that's similar to what we're adding for Dell. Uh, so for that, um, that is something that we would be um, probably adding along those lines after the Dell integration um, has been locked down with Dell. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So. 
as you can see, it was very easy to search for this particular server um, just by narrowing down the results. Uh, you know, this is also a good way to narrow down when it comes to, um, you know, finding laptops as well, because, you know, when you're talking to a customer, they know what screen size they want, uh, but so, but you don't necessarily know what the part numbers are. So if we were to do a search, for instance, for an Acer Aspire, I like to search for Aspire only because that's our company name. Um, we'll do a search here. It's going through and uh, getting all the categories and subcategories here. So now um, what I can do is I can actually now filter down by, like I was saying, the screen size. So we'll see that right here. Here's all the different screen sizes that Edelize has for that Acer Aspire. And we'll go ahead and break it down by the 13.3. You'll see that we've got 52 items now uh, that were found. And then from here, we can break it down maybe by, say, the operating system. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll go ahead and do Windows 8.1 Pro. And from here, um, again, uh, we let's go ahead and clear out our compare. and compare these items. So we've got two different laptops here. And what we can do now is get pricing and availability for all of the distributors that we work with. So there we go. On one screen, again, we're seeing the pricing and availability uh, for these two different laptops, helping us narrow down. Um, we can see who has the lowest cost. You'll see that Tech Data in this case does um, for both of these, and you'll see that that's in green. And we're highlighting the differences between these different laptops. So you can see how much time we're saving you uh, versus the way that we were doing it before. And one thing that I will say as well, in the past, I would have almost never recommended using the auto retrieve. But now that's something that I would I, I recommend using on a regular basis because it is going out and it is getting price and availability much quicker uh, than it was before. Uh, when it came to doing searches. So as you switch between items, it's going out very quickly and getting that pricing and availability. So it, in, in some cases, depending on the distributors you work work with, you'll almost get the, the pricing and availability uh, instantaneous there. Okay. So we've talked about the speed increases, obviously, and I'm focusing on that a lot because that, that is the key uh, that we added in this. Um, we talked about the drill down searches here on the left. Uh, we've talked about similar items and upsell items. We've talked about the product comparison. Um, now, something we didn't talk about is up here in the, the search results grid, we've got our categories that are now listed. Um, we also have the, the distributors that are being returned from Edelize as well. So that way it'll help you when it comes to narrowing down your search results very quickly without going out and uh, using the Edelize pane here at the bottom. Let's see, a question from Karen came up. Um, will the MSRP prices be listed? Um, the problem with MSRP that we've run into is that with four different distributors here, we could have four different MSRPs. So we don't really list them anywhere. Like I would love to have like a list price right here, but we can't really do that because we have four different list prices. Um, and what we end up doing is we end up using the list price that we get from um, whichever distri distributor that you've selected, and that's what gets added uh, to the actual document. See, question from Mark. Have we the ability to set auto retrieve real time as a default option in our user or system preferences so that we don't have to click the checkbox every time? Very good question, Mark. And the, the answer to that is yes. So what Mark is asking about is this checkbox right here that I was talking about. And you can set that on a user basis under the tools, my preferences menu, under miscellaneous. And there's a checkbox right here for auto retrieve real time price and availability for Edelize. So it's right there. It's a very good question mark. Okay. 
Uh, question from Karen um, <laughs> regarding the list price again. Um, why would the list price change per distributor? Well, QuoteWorks does not have the um, a, a database that has all the list prices, so we rely on what the what the the, distrib the distributor gives us. And as prices change, um, you know, as items get older, some distributors update their list price, some of them don't, and that's why the list price changes. Um, I agree, M MSRP should just be static across the board, but you know, it does fluctuate over time, and that's why you'll you will see the differences between the different distributors. Okay. All right. Okay. So um, some other functionality too. Um, so if I were to add this um, this laptop here to my quote, hopefully the images from Edelize are not giving me problems today. It looks like we are having problems. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add my my item to my quote. Now, the cool thing that we've done now is right here from this screen, we can still have access to, wait just a minute here, we still have access to the, the faster real time from the distributors. We also still have access to all of the similar upsell and um, in, information as well. And we also have access to the compare as well. And you'll notice that this item here has the compare grayed out. And the reason behind that is because it's already on our compare window. So if I were to go over here to this other item here that we've already added to the quote, I can go ahead and click on compare. It's going to go ahead and add it to my quote here, or to my compare screen. And it's already gone out and, and got the real-time price and availability for that item as well. So this compare window is really good. I just want to stress this. It's really good for internal use, but it's also really good when it comes to providing your customers with spec information. Um, instead of having maybe three different spec sheets um, for these three different systems, if you were to quote all three, you would just give them one spec sheet, and they can very easily see what's available. Uh, for those items. Okay, so at this point, um, I, I've gone over the highlights of this release um, as far as the integration with Edelize. Um, and what I'd like to do is basically just open up the floor uh, to any questions that you have um, regarding Edelize, maybe the latest release that we have, um, or any functionality questions that you have. Um, and I'll be a, I'll be available for the next. Uh, 15 to 20 minutes if you guys have questions. Otherwise, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to uh, to join us today in this uh, this half hour or so where we went over some of the new features uh, with our Edelize integration. Um, and uh, if you have functionality questions, you can definitely send an email to support. If you have questions about um, functionality you'd like to see added to the Edelize integration uh, that we didn't already speak about, uh, feel free to send an email to development at quoteworks.com. All right, very good. Uh, question from Steve. Um, how do we get this new update? Great question. Well, basically, all you need to do is uh, basically speak with your uh, your QuoteWorks administrator at, at your office, and uh, and then from there, that person can just go to support and updates, and they can download the update. As long as you're current on your maintenance, uh, the update would be free. Uh, yes, all of this that I've been showing off, Mark, um, is in um, is in uh, build 4.40. Uh, that is the build that I'm running right now. If you go to help about, you'll see it is the current release. Yeah, um, and so if you're already if you're current on maintenance, you've got all this functionality, um, and uh, and it basically if you've already as long as you have your product content subscription, you'll just see this just flow right in. Question from Brian. Any idea why my tech data login stops working? Uh, I have to call them to get it working. Assuming, assume it's on their end, but wonder if you have any tips. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, Brian, I would definitely reach out um, to your, your tech data person, uh, your contact over there to find out maybe they can give you an answer. Otherwise, Brian, if you want to send an email to to the QW sales at, at courtworks.com um, and uh, with your contact information and your tech data account number, I can send uh, some information over to tech data and find out why that's happening for you. Question from Eli, uh, will B&H real-time uh, pricing ever be available? Um, I'm not sure. Um, we don't really get asked that often for B&H, so um, you know, if we get more people asking for it, we can definitely do that. Uh, but we do need uh, basically the specs in order to add that type of functionality. And if they have it, Eli, definitely have them send it to support at quoteworks.com and we can uh, see what we can do about adding it. Uh, Sabrina had a question. Uh, we currently do not have a DNH real-time account. Um, yeah, so basically, I was showing off the integration with uh, with four of the distributors. Um, you know, if you don't have an account with them, it's uh, and you don't have your credentials in, entered into QuoteWorks, that's not going to show up in the list. Um, but what we can do is, if I go over here, if we go under products and product content subscription. You can see what distributors we work with when it comes to the Edelize integration. As you can see right here, um, any of the ones that have the Edelize checkbox, basically those are ones that will be provided by Edelize, any of those uh, uh, those part numbers. And then what we can do is we can actually supplement those with the part locator and the and um, as well as being able to do part, uh, manufacture part number lookups to be able to combine all those together on that same screen. And again, we're going out, if you've got those uh, accounts with those distributors, we'll go out and get that. Um, yeah, so I was talking about D and H. Um, we currently do not have uh, B and H. Uh, yes, uh, Adam, you should be getting, you should be able to get delta, delta is in D, D is in delta and H uh, pricing, uh, but they were asking for a different distributor. Uh, Sabrina had a question uh, regarding the Dell Punch-Out. Um, yeah, so we've been working with them. Um, our integration has been done for a number of months. Um, we're just waiting for them to update their platform. Uh, basically, they have two different platforms that they've been working on over at Dell. Um, they have the current platform, which everybody is currently on that is not that does not have punch out credentials and then there's the people that do have punch out credentials are on the older platform so what they're doing is they're updating their newer platform to add punch out support um, so we're just waiting on them they've delayed it um, month after month so uh, basically we're just waiting for them to complete it um, if you send over your account information um, i can definitely reach out to them again on your behalf to find out what the status is um, but otherwise you know Talk to your 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 Dell sales rep to find out what they've got as far as a, an ETA. Um, let's see, Neil had a question um, about scan source. Well, actually, we do have scan source support um, within our part locator. Um, so that means that in the Edelize search, it would show up. I I just don't have scan source part numbers in in my example here, so that does exist. Um, see, um, Eric had a good point here uh, when it comes to working with the different distributors. Um, each of the distributors have different requirements as far as being able to provide you with XML credentials. Um, those are basically what we use to get the real-time pricing and availability. And you know, DNH for for instance, um, they they require a certain dollar volume um, in order to be able to provide those to you. But if you push your sales rep, um, you can usually get them to turn it on for you. Uh, but really, um, the important thing is to make sure that you have a good relationship with your distributor. Um, and most of the time, your distributor partners will give you uh, the XML credentials.
Uh, Steve, for your question regarding um, the full screen workaround, um, send an email to support at quoteworks.com and see if they can give you an answer. Um, if not, they'll probably escalate it up to me and I'll see what I can do for you. Um, let's see, Stephen had a question about searching by in stock. Well, currently we do not have um, that that availability just because of the, the sheer number of calls that would be going out to the different distributors because Edelize does not actually have that information. Um, basically, um, what we recommend doing is add all the parts that you're looking for into the compare window, get the real time, and then from there we can narrow down by by availability and stock. Um, obviously, from there we can we can do more um, as far as adding adding it functionality to make it easier for you to narrow that down, and, and we will be doing that as well. Um, now, what I will say um, when it comes to doing the searches, make sure that when you are searching that you make sure to check the checkbox for limit to my distributors. By doing that, um, it is going to narrow down the search results even further for you. Let's see, um, Wes had a, a question regarding um, selecting the right part um, because basically he's getting uh, different parts um, from from the distributors. Um, let's see, let me get an example here. We'll do is. Go back. Um, one other nice shortcut um, that, that a lot of people don't know about, you'll notice that I double clicked on here. Um, that'll do an F2 lookup in the search results here, or the search for. Uh, so like, if you've got like a quick pick list of maybe like you know, 10 to 20 items that you normally purchase from, you can add them into this list and it'll make it very easy to find items. Um, and actually, let me search for this guy instead. And you'll notice that it went out and got the pricing availability for that automatically for me. And so Wes had a question. So previously um, we didn't have uh, this this notification here showing you that uh, there were multiple part numbers. Um, so you wouldn't necessarily know that there were different options for maybe an academic or a commercial part. Um, so the first thing I'd recommend doing is just make sure that you are familiar with the price, the, the part number schemes that the different distributors have um, because they will kind of give you a cue as far as if it is an academic um, or a government or a, uh, or a standard commercial part. The other thing too, you know, from the compare window, oops, um, that you'll notice when we get our pricing availability here. You know, you can click on each one of these and it'll take you out to the distributor's website to make sure that you are selling the right part. Unfortunately, Edelize does not provide us with, you know, what type of product it is, whether it is an academic or, you know, if, if it's a Latin American part or that sort of thing. So two things to take away from this. One, kind of uh, get up to date as far as what some of the prefixes are, um, as far as what an academic price is, a part uh, versus a commercial part is. And then also click on the links here to take you to the distributor's website. Okay. Um, and once you log in, it'll take you directly to that part. All right. Um, okay, it looks like the questions are starting to narrow down here. I'll give it just another minute or two. Um, otherwise, again, thank you very much for uh, for joining us uh, today for this webinar, showing some of the new functionality in the Edelize. Okay, well, it looks like uh, we've pretty much ran out of questions. I did see a couple of comments there, um, and uh, thank you for those. And uh, But otherwise, have a great day. Um, we are in the process of working on Build 5. You'll see that um, probably in the next uh, month or two, um, and you'll see some great improvements on the print engine inside of QuoteWorks. So thank you very much, and you guys have a great day.